So how do we compare our actual results against our standard cost estimate? In order to do this, we have to evaluate any stock movement at standard cost. So for example, our standard cost for that share was 7 USD. But actually during the year, we did some goods receipts at 8 USD instead of 7. So you see we have a difference of 1 USD between our standard and our actual. Now in order to analyze this difference, the amount that we are going to post to our inventory account and that will appear in our balance sheet is going to be at 7 USD. And the difference between the 7 and the 8 will be posted to a separate price difference account. So at any time we can analyze this price difference account which includes all the differences between my plan and my actual and we can know why did we have to pay more or less for this product. So for example, our plan was the cost of the chair was 7 USD but actually the supplier was more expensive. Or maybe the transportation to move the products from the supplier to our warehouse was more expensive. Or maybe we had to pay more customs or duties or any other expense that we have to pay to make the chair ready to be sold. So this way you can easily analyze why we have differences and this will help you improve your performance. So for example, we are going to look for cheaper suppliers or maybe look for cheaper transportation. And this is completely normal because no one can plan 100% accurately. There is also one more option that actually when we did our plan at the beginning of the year, it was not accurate. So the reasonable cost of the chair is actually 8 USD and not 7. So in this case, we should go and revisit our plan and change the standard cost of our chair from 7 to 8. So in the future, we are going to compare against 8. And this way you are improving the accuracy of your planning. So for example, if you are willing to earn this amount of money in the future, you are going to keep in mind that the cost for one share is 8 USD and not 7. And this is how we improved our planning process. So this is the biggest advantage of standard costing. It requires a lot of effort, yes, but it gives you a plan that you can compare against and this helps you improve your performance. But it also has one big disadvantage. Now, as I explained, any movement that happens to our inventory will be posted to our accounts at standard costing, not actual, which means that the value of your inventory account in the balance sheet is not realistic. It is posted at a planned value. And the difference between planned and actual is posted to a price difference account, which is an expense account in your income statement. So this is a very big disadvantage. Now, SAP has found a way to solve this, which is the material ledger actual costing component. And this is what I will explain in the next video. Thank you.